Hello, Chabot artists. This is your teacher, Mark Lewis Wagner, and I'm teaching four classes this semester. So I'm teaching painting, drawing, illustration, and intro to digital media. So as an adjunct faculty, I'm usually only supposed to teach two classes a semester, but the school needs me and I said yes, and I can do it. And two of the classes I haven't taught before, illustration and intro to digital media. So I'm totally excited about that. I went to art school as an illustrator and I, I have spent most a lot of my career as an illustrator, which I consider as a visual storyteller. And um, I've been on a computer since 1983. I had a grant from the National Endowment of the Arts to experiment on a computer. It had eight colors, it filled a room. It was worth a million dollars. No one really knew how to use it. And uh, they gave me a manual and they said, good luck. And one day a week I went in, it was in New York City and I experimented on this computer. Um, I'm actually not in California. I'm in New Mexico. I have a studio that I'm building in New Mexico and I'm, I'm uh, starting to spend half the year here and then half the year, the winter, <clears throat> in the Bay Area. So I'm gonna show you my place here. Um, I'm in my art barn right now, and uh, I'm gonna give you a tour of it, um, but I'll just give you a little preview of, of what's behind me. Um, so I, I'll switch off here and, and uh, go to another view. So my art barn, I'll, sh I'll, sh I'll come in here and show you more stuff. <clears throat> This is where I live. And this is my friend. Hey, Karma. Um, I'm up against some mountains. I'll, I'll open the other door. I'm on, um, I'm on nine acres here that I own. And um, for the last four years, I've been coming here really maybe for six months, six weeks, or for, you know, a week at a time, not, not a week at a time, a couple weeks, um, you know, drive in from California, it's a two day drive. So there's my trailer, I live in my trailer, got a fire pit, I have a shed. So I've got a tool shed over there. These are these pre-made um, structures. And then here's my barn, right? My, my art barn. It's, uh, it, cut, it sits on the ground on, on runners. Um, it's 12 by 32 feet and uh, it cost me $12,000. And um, interesting for me, what was it last year? I sold a, the largest painting that I ever did in the spring, which was a six by 12 foot painting. This is one of Professor Thiel's uh, sculptures. He's, he and I share a studio in Oakland together. He's the sculpture teacher. Um, I sold that painting for $12,000. And and, um, and the very same day I, I bought this barn. Um, this is what my water, which I'm super excited about, believe it or not. It doesn't look like much, but... <laughs> but it, it runs uh, 700 feet to my neighbor's well. And um, so for the first time ever, I have water here. So shower, I've got a, you know, I've got a filter, um, you know, it's pretty exciting. My, my toilet is literally over there, up, which is a bucket. And uh, it, it's probably gonna stay a bucket this year. Eventually it'll get upgraded. And, uh, over there, you can't see it, but I'm having a cabin built, which is the same builders of these. And there's a, it's a 12 by 28 foot cabin. And so that's where uh, friends, families, um, I'm setting this up kind of as an artist in residency thing too, because I have a nonprofit called Drawing on Earth, which, you're, which you'll learn about. So when, when artists come, they have a, a place to stay. And right now the weather's great. It's been raining a lot this summer. You know, a lot of California's burning and uh, Oregon and Washington. And in July, it rained almost every day here. 
<clears throat> so wood stove super important you know every morning i actually start off to get the chill away with the fire and then i've got internet that was also something that happened this year so um that's the internet cable right there so after that cabin comes in <clears throat> excuse me i'm gonna hire electricians because i put electricity in this land two years ago um you know that cost almost fifteen thousand dollars to do that so there's electricity in the land and that's how that trailer's hooked up and then what next thing i'll do is i'll hire the electricians and they'll put outlets and light sockets and then they'll bury that cable and then they'll also do the same thing in that cabin that's Ute Mountain. It's one of the largest single peaked mountains. So I'm I'm up in uh, northern New Mexico near a town called Cuesta. So town is that way. It's uh, six miles to the library and the gas station, and the town is tiny. It has one post office and a great hardware store. Um, and Taos is 40 minutes away, and Taos is a big art mecca. So artwork, you know, this piece is barely barely started there's bob wire from my fence just hanging it up here and uh this is my my big painting that i'm super excited about because this got me to a place that i've never been to before in painting and i was like this is where i want to be so um so what i'm doing is i'm painting now more than that's my main focus is fine art painting to sell in galleries and then I'm teaching, and, and I am—I uh, have a nonprofit that I work with, which I'll show you. So these are the paintings that I've done since I've been here. I got here the end of May. Um, I just had—we just had open studios, which means the community comes around, and um, um, these are the pieces that i did i didn't sell anything at the moment but you know you always get nibbles actually i sold that piece um so this is this is what i've been doing <clears throat> what i'm focusing on are is spirit birds i call them and um i'm working on um the goal is to be able to to get into a gallery or two in the southwest and be selling work and i've i've come across a template where is it I don't have it. It's hiding. I come across a template as one example, and then I um, I just lay it on there and spray paint it, or out or outline it. So it gives me this spirit bird thing gives me something that I can uh, replicate and not have to be thinking about creating something new every time. So I'm you could. Would you call it? I'm just, just hanging out with a, a theme, perhaps. Here's my um, here's my. That's the Sangrio de Cristo Mountains. It's a mile away. It's incredible. There's some houses out there, but not much. Um, I used to live out here. I went to art school in New York City, and um, then I came out to New Mexico and lived out here for a couple years. So I built these tables. So tables with wheels are essential for a studio. Um, I have circles painted on my floor. I've done that for 40 or 50 years. It's a good way of containing a space and making things safe. Um, let's see what I can show here. Um, let's just start over here. So illustration uh books so these are some books that i have made it's called the art of being a dad i self-published it and uh my kids now are in their um mid 30 mid 20 sorry um but i i i i um my ex my wife and i she's a writer we co-parented, so I spent a lot of time with my kids being being the the per, you know the the parent. Um, here's my nonprofit. It's called Drawing on Earth, and this is our Guinness World Record for the world's largest chalk drawing. And um, so, made a book about the experience. Um, this is the first world record, and we have I have set a second one just recently. So I'll show you. 
Um, graphic design, I'm working on a um, graphic novel. I've been working on it for 10 years. It's called Graffiti Wars. And um, here's the proposal. Um, I've sent it out, it hasn't gotten bought, and now I'm back rewriting it and uh, redoing some of the artwork. Um, but really love the story. The premise is the God of War is enslaved by men, power, and money with the help of an alien universe, a Vietnam vet, ghosts, a whale, and a dog, two Oakland graffiti artists journey through time and madness trying to save the world. Um, I storyboarded it just so that I could understand what possibly is happening. I've never done a graphic novel, so I have a lot to learn. And then, um, you know, this is my second book of, you know, how I think. Um, computers, I'm on computers all the time. Um, that's one of the chalk drawings I've done at a school. So with my nonprofit, uh, I've been, I was hired by the Mount Diablo School District to go to all their 30 elementary schools and do these chalk drawings. And so one of the ones I would do is this anamorphic perspective, which is when you look at it, it looks like it's standing up. And if you'd walk around it, it would be really long and skinny. Like it wouldn't make sense, but it's so it's it's all about standing in one point of view and getting that that photograph. So we'll be talking about that in perspective. And so I, my nonprofit, we've worked with thirty thousand kids so far, drawn on three continents, and to have two Guinness World Records. Here's the the last the second Guinness World Record was. Um, this is a soccer field in Alameda on the decommissioned Navy Air Base. And I've been looking at this abandoned tennis court. They've turned it into soccer, but um, I went ahead and was able to do it with COVID because they weren't using this. So in April, I covered all of this with chalk. Here's the Photoshop sketch, right? Digital media. This is how I think, uh, and you can move stuff around so easily in Photoshop. Um, and then, you know, back to Photoshop again, um, if you're an artist these days, you need to know a, a computer program. So anybody, anybody who's doing the arts. So I took that and I turned it into this, right? So this is all gridded out. Each one of these squares then would be 10 feet. And that's how I was able to draw it. And then, um, Here's the piece, it's a little complicated. And uh, I was trying to do this anamorphic perspective stuff. <laughs> That's funny. You can look at it like this so that the, you know people would stand here and then they would be able to look and see this whole thing. It's all about the creative spirit uh, blessing the earth. Um, this is, you know, those are my, my drone photographs. Um, great experience. So the world record was eight, 1800 square feet and I did 18,000 square feet so great project there you can see the grid work so you know anybody who's making something smaller to larger most people grid it off um, sketchbooks everybody's going to be having a sketchbook um, probably not digital media um, no I'll get everybody's going to have a sketchbook I always decorate them um, I also, they say, uh, if you're an artist, have hats to sell, which means be able to sell something that doesn't cost much. So I get sketchbooks, you know, they're, they cost me maybe five, $5. And then I, I um, decorate them and I sell them for $20. So it's just to be able to have something. Um, this is the sketchbook I just finished. Um, so this is where stuff really happens. Um, everybody's going to have a relationship to sketchbooks. Um, and then when I, if I journal write, I journal write like uh, in my journals. Um, it's over here. So I got, I've got a VR headset. I'm starting to learn tilt brush and just explore this whole world, which is crazy. Here's my drone. This is my digital setup here. It gets a little dusty, but even in Oakland, my studio is <laughs> in a in a ceramic with a ceramic artist Clayton Thiel, and uh, it gets dusty. So I've got two monitors. Um, 
I draw with a pen, a Wacom pen tablet. Come on. Um, um, so did, you know, I have two, I have two um, monitors. Sorry about that. Um, this one is, I use this one for art mostly, and this one's for tools. Um, you can hear some of the Photoshop work for the graphic novel. You know, it's it's all ideas and thoughts and layers. I really like this piece. Um, Photoshop, I've been on Photoshop since 1994 every day. And Photoshop, you know, you can just design things. It's Texas is a um, concert poster, um, you know, Artwork from other projects. I worked on a movie called Terminator 3, and these are even figures from that. Um, layers and layers and layers. That's what Photoshop does for me. And then um, I do some music. So music is uh, on Logic. And like Photoshop has layers, Logic has layers. All of these are, are little different layers. So if I hit the hit the music to go, and if it happens, hang on, where'd it go? It's being quiet at the moment. I'm not sure why. <laughs> That's funny. Um, and so let's see what else. I think that's the that's the intro. Um, I'll be back in the Bay Area in October. Spend the winter there. Come back here again in uh, in probably May. It's really brutal here in the spring from um, April April and May, and it's cold is one of them. And then uh, the winds here are are uh, intense. Like I'll move. I'll either move that trailer beside the barn, or I will. Um, I have to bolt it down. I put it down straps. So eventually this will be um, after the the sockets get put in for the studio, you know, electrical sockets. Then it gets insulated and it covered gets covered with drywall. And I put these panels up here because the sun was actually heating up the ceiling when I first arrived. And you could feel the radiant heat coming in. And uh, what else? I've studied, I've been around Native American ceremonies for years, buffalo skulls. Um, I have I have great sound in this thing. That's always important for me as a good stereo. I've got four speakers and a big sub. Uh, I have a candle going on whenever I'm in my studio. And I think that's about it. All right. Hope we have a great semester together. Oh, look, I can talk. <laughs> um, yeah, so I appreciate, you know, be in contact with me. The world's a crazy place. Um, the virus is definitely around. Be safe. Um, I'm going to try to make this class where you actually feel that your art feeds you and this art class feeds your soul. That's what I'm really interested in is how the, what the arts do to humanity and, um, and the artists themselves. And my belief is that each of us were born artists so that that's, we're just, that's who we are. We're just creative people. And uh, education has mostly educated us out of being creative, but this class is about remembering that. And then also that you have a voice or that you have something important to say that the world needs to hear. That's one of my basis or beliefs. All right, bye.